Well guys, this is not a video that I really wanted to make, but um, like the title says, this video is about red. This is red, um, if you guys caught the last video, that was like one of the first videos and I don't know how many that I actually did not notice red following me around and then halfway through the video I'm like, this is weird, where's red? And I never did see her. Well, uh, as I was feeding Daisy, I think that's what I was doing. I was feeding Daisy and I was walking by the tractor and I looked and I seen her standing there but she didn't run to me. And uh, I was like, that's not like her. But I didn't pay any attention to it. I went ahead and went and fed Mojo and finished the video. Well, later that night we came and checked on her and she seemed okay. She's, you know, seemed a little different. She wasn't, you know, running to us. She heard us, didn't run to us or anything. So... She's been roosting out here with the other chickens over here in our, our lean-to next to the uh, shop where I parked the tractor. And, uh, you know, we just let her sleep that night. Well, the next morning, we wake up and we're getting ready for work. And Rachel said, I think that's Red just laying out there in the yard. She's not really doing much. So I came out and I checked her and she wouldn't get up. She wouldn't hardly move. And... Um, so I said, well, I'm going to go uh, get a box or something to put her in. So I walked off and uh, went and grabbed a box and came back. And about that time, I looked over and the turkeys, the two tom turkeys, were sitting there pecking her, trying to pull her feathers out of her back. So anyways, I'm not really sure. She's not herself. Um, we took her to the vet and they think she may have had a stroke. She has lost her eyesight. She's not reacting to anything. She's not reacting to any light. She has no reflex in her eyes. So that's not a good sign. Um, she can't stand up. She just lays there and her head kind of falls down back and forth. She'll pick it up. Um, the vet said there's not really anything you can do. I mean, we don't have any vets around anywhere in Oklahoma, I think, without maybe going to uh, OSU in Stillwater that specialize in uh, poultry or whatever the term is. I don't even know the name. But anyways, guys, it ain't looking good for Red. Um, Rachel and I, we have been feeding and watering her with a syringe. We just open up her beak and uh, she'll drink water. She'll drink pretty much all the water we got. We, uh, we're trying to keep her hydrated. She still has decent color in her comb. You can see it's red and she's not real dehydrated right now. Her comb's standing up usually when they get dehydrated their comb will kind of fall down and get all wrinkly which hers don't look perfect but i don't know guys this is a this is part of farming like i say over and over this is the stuff that we don't look forward to and i know you guys are going to be super upset because so many of you have been getting attached to red just like we have um i come out to the shop to do my projects and stuff open the door and there she is, Miss Red. So that's why I brought her out here to the shop just to do this video. Hoping maybe she would uh, perk up a little bit. She knew we were in the shop. And she can hear me just fine. Um, it's We've been keeping her in the house. Uh, last night was the first night, you know, since we found her acting like this. So last night, or yesterday, I actually brought her in the house and I've been keeping her in a box. And anytime I say her name, she perks up and she looks around like, you know, I hear my name, I hear I hear you, but she just can't see anything. And you can hold feed in front of her and she will not try to eat. Uh, she won't drink on her own. It's just like she can't see anything. Right, girl? Let me hold you a little better. So, I don't know, guys. We're going to keep, um, we're going to keep trying to get her back, um. You know, there's other kinds of diseases out there. There is vitamin deficiencies. One thing that it could have been is a uh, toxi toxicity to a poisonous plant. And that would have been like the best case scenario. Because, uh, you know, we could just keep her hydrated and everything. And hopefully let her body fight off the toxicity. And once it's out of her system, she would come back too. Um, there's, there's several, several cases in the United States alone of blind chickens and they actually do quite well for being blind you know like other animals don't do so well chickens actually adapt and for some reason they can still find their food they can still find water and there's a lot of cases where they actually 
still know where to go roost up above off the ground. But this case, she she's not able to really. Uh... What's wrong, girl? Hmm. What's wrong, girl? In this case, she's not actually able to eat and drink on her own. So, you know, we got to kind of do that for her. And, um, you know, like the vet said, there's nothing that we can really do, like a miracle, medicine, or anything else. All we can do is pray and put it in God's hands. And if he's, uh, if she's meant to uh, live on, then God will make that happen. If not, then we'll have to uh, figure out what to do next. Um, everybody's sad. Rachel's sad. Caleb and Kaya, everybody's upset because we've, we've got really attached to her. Just like... You guys see in the video, I'm not exaggerating. If you go back and look at probably the last 15 or 20 videos, she's in almost every one of our videos, if it's outside anyways. Right? Well, you're a pretty girl, Red. So you can kind of see what she's doing here. She'll kind of pick her head up and it tilts back down. So uh, I don't remember if I covered this or not, but one of the other... Um, diagnosis that could be is like a vit vitamin deficiency so what we've been doing I have that power punch that we actually keep on hand for the goats if we get a sick goat you know we'll give them that power punch or if a mama struggles having babies or in the winter time or anything we get a weak goat you know that power punch has all the uh, essential minerals and vitamins in it and one thing that chickens can go blind on is if they have a vitamin A deficiency and that power punch actually has a good amount of vitamin A in it. So we've been giving her um, a whole syringe of that. And uh, she's also had two rounds of antibiotics now. Been giving her a shot. We're just trying everything. Um, it's rough. I mean, she she's a fighter, I'll tell you that much. Um, when we grab her and we try to... Uh, force her beak open so we can get her the food and water she fights and then once she actually says or knows that we're giving her water uh, she actually enjoys it then she'll just sit there and kind of open her beak and let me open it and put the water down her throat and she swallows and everything just fine it's just she cannot see to get a drink or eat on her own and she can't she can't walk either so I don't know if she can walk but she don't try to and I'm sure it's because she can't see and she's not used to it but she's not even really trying to use her feet much. Right, girl? But anyways, I wanted to make this video while she was still here and still kind of active. Because we do not know, none of us know when our last days on earth will be. But this could uh, very well be Red's last video, guys. But I want to thank all you guys for all the support. I know a lot of you will be upset with this video. And, um... I know we sure are. We're gonna, we're gonna try everything we can. She, uh, this is day two of not eating on her own or drinking, but she's not dehydrated right now. But hopefully we can keep her organs and everything going, and hopefully her body will fight off whatever it is, unless it's like a stroke. If you know, like the vet said, chickens have strokes. And here's the thing: Red is three to four years old. Um, We've had her a long time. She's not actually one of our uh, productive egg layers anymore. But, you know, we don't care if if we got chickens on the farm that's not laying eggs. You know, we let them free range and they're still beneficial to us. They run around eating bugs and they're just fun to watch. And then you got characters like Red that just adds that special, uh, that special something to the farm, you know. Right, girl? Hmm? She's just, uh, she's a, she's definitely special. I've never had a chicken like her before, and, uh, I, I can probably bet you we would probably never will again. She's got her eyes closed right now. That feel good? Oh. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this little video, short video, updating you guys on Red and, uh, asking for prayers. You know, miracles can happen. You got faith in God, anything can happen, so... We're not giving up on her, and I know she's not giving up, so we're going to keep fighting. And uh, please don't be too upset. Um, uh, it's, it's not good, 
but that is part of farm life, you know, animals, nothing lives forever, but we do try to give them the best life while they are here with us. So, it's about time to uh, take her in and get her uh, situated again and give her some more water and all that stuff. We'll mix up some rice and maybe some like oatmeal or something and just put it on her in her beak and she kind of just swallows it. So that's how she's getting fed right now. And I've been reading online about some yogurt and some other stuff. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys uh, aren't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully, she will turn around for the best. But either way, you guys know, I'll give it to you real. And uh, let you know what the outcome is. So uh, we'll be uh, appreciating your prayers and your thoughts and your comments. And hopefully, I'll have some uh, great news for you guys in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You like making videos, don't you, Red? Yep.